what is going on with cryptocurrencies uh, in the past few weeks cryptocurrencies have really uh, been going up lately and uh, it's worth asking that question why is it going up well uh, there are few reasons according to the experts okay the analysts okay out there and I'm gonna share with you what what uh, what was said uh, right now now there are three main reasons why this is happening uh, the the first one is what we call the Bitcoin halving now understand that the Bitcoin halving uh, occurred one of it occurred anyway uh, the most recent one was in April uh, 2024 and according to the calculations the next one will be 2028 now what happens during that event or when that occurs is that the amount of Bitcoin available Bitcoin in particular decreases so which makes it a, a finite um, kind of asset so due to the law of supply and demand chances are bitcoin will continue to go up all right because the number of available bitcoins uh, bitcoin decreases over time now the next one here is the etf adoption now as we know exchange traded funds uh, a lot of uh, etfs are coming on the market that are tracking cryptocurrencies and what that means is you can literally have a basket of cryptocurrencies in one product, which is why ETFs are made anyway. And a lot of money is now flowing into this type of asset. With that means that more people are buying and getting access to different cryptocurrencies. And this is continued, this is estimated to continue for a long time. And I'm, I mean, for the foreseeable future, because there is much more regulated uh, rules that have been established by the government, which means the government itself is actually giving uh, uh, more accessibility to this type of assets. So as more money pours into it, what happens is that prices go up. OK, and the last one is the decentralized finance. And this is more about, you know, things like Ethereum, where their use or the usage can be unlimited. I mean, there are so many coins or uh, cryptocurrencies out there that they, they, they have a lot of um, flexibility in how they can be used for different purposes. So the point here is for transactions in particular or banking systems in particular. And what that would mean, what that means is that as these banks hopefully as they adopt some of the usage of cryptocurrencies guess what it makes them more valuable as they become more valuable the prices go up so we have this tri-factor effect going on with cryptocurrencies now the question now is what cryptocurrency should you invest in this is not financial advice like they say uh, but the point here is you know think about this type of technology all right as we know when internet came into existence a lot of people felt oh this is not the thing of the future this is useless it has no use and guess what here we are things has really changed same thing with AI that is going on in different uh, technology and different companies right now the use of ai and ad adoption of ai all of that is going on and over time we are likely to see a high driven environment where everything you're interacting with is driven by ai so the point here is there is definitely this evolution that occurs every now and then and cryptocurrency is definitely one of those that will continue to be used in different forms and as long as that is the key, guess what? These prices will go up. And just to you know, show you something of uh, to, to kind of reference something here. Let me go back to that. I, I think it is important to show this. An example, uh, or like Ethereum, right? If we go back in five five years, okay. And I'm gonna share that. Uh, this thing is up one thousand four hundred and thirty seven percent. Okay. It's up 1,000, 1,437% in five years. And that's not a long time. I mean, if you think about it, that is not a long time. And same thing if I switch to Bitcoin and I go out five years, in five years, Bitcoin is up 763%, okay? And the list can go on. The point here is this, this thing is happening and it's slowly happening. And guess what? 
we don't want to miss out of this type of opportunities. That is the truth. Now, initially, I'll be honest, I didn't like cryptocurrencies because, you know, it was it was a lot of um, speculation going on. And it's still a little of speculation going on right now because, you know, it doesn't produce you any ongoing financial um, dividends, right? It's not like the stocks that you can buy and pay you dividends. And sometimes, you know, you can lose money if you play the short game or short term game the goal is that we want to stay in this long term and if you can stick with it long term then you're likely to do well the next question is when should you be buying now this is often uh, a thing that a lot of people will say is it too late or should they be buying now and to answer this question i think it is best that we think about the opportunities that we can capture over time, which means it's best that you invest, let's say it's $100 per month. In 12 months, you have $1,200 invested. Guess what? If you did that over one year, we like, for example, Bitcoin, in one year, Bitcoin has gone up around 143%. So you would have at least, depending on the prices you got into it, you'd have at least, you know, can confidently say you probably be up almost 100 percent if you buy at the right times anyway but the point here is if you choose to buy once a month hundred dollars every month that is something if it's a thousand dollars you can afford every month but make sure okay make sure that whatever you do do not put too much of your money into cryptocurrencies now according to the experts out there they say that you shouldn't have more than three percent to five percent of your portfolio in cryptocurrencies and I would also add to this right if you want if you have a lot of time on your side like very young yeah you can push it to like 10% I, I, you know as long as it's not money that you need anytime soon because the more time you have available the chances that you will come out ahead so just wanted to share that information with you I hope that you found value in it check out my next video I'm sure you benefit from it as well